Threshold from All About Planners. So I am a huge fan of the Plum Paper Planners. There's lots of different layers to choose from. They're really cute, they're affordable. So yeah, it ticks all the boxes in my books for a really good planner. And recently they released the grid layout, which is what this one is that I got. So let's take a closer look. So I got the classic size, or the medium, whatever you want to call it, which is around about seven, I'm talking about the paper size, it's a bit smaller than the cover, seven by about nine inches. So I find that that's the perfect size for me for um, a planner, not too big, not too small. You can get lots of extras added in with the planner if you want to, but I opted to just get the uh, weekly spreads in this one. There is always a bit of wriggle room on the coil if you wanted to add stickers and I've also requested that they do not add the coil um, previously and then I have arced it and used it with um, the disbound system instead so there's that option as well. If you've seen any of my other uh, mini plum paper video videos of their reviews, uh, reviews of the planners, they are basically the same inside with the dates at a glance pages, then you've got the annual overview and then the ideas, plans, goals page. All of the monthly tabs, the planning pages, the calendar, all the same. The only thing different is the weekly layout. So this one is the grid and I got the seven day week. So Monday to Friday get like a full box and then Saturday and Sunday are just small down the bottom. Now I'm someone that actually needs more room on a Saturday and Sunday. So what I was thinking of doing is flipping it around and putting um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday like up the top here. You can um, get them customized so add, they'll like pre-print um, and add the text for you up the top of whatever categories you want. So if you had like mum, husband, kids, um, cleaning, home, travel planning, whatever you wanted to do, you could do that. Um, but I am someone that changes my mind a lot and I switch between planners all the time. So I opted to not have any text pre-printed and I'm just going to add that myself as I go. Um, the other option that you could do is use header stickers. So like planner stickers and you just stick them there and that would save time as well um, if you are still figuring out how you're going to use your planner. So if you did want to use it in this format with the Monday to Friday and then Saturday to Sunday, then I reckon this planner would be good for a teacher or a student or someone that wants to use their planner for work and they don't really need to plan their personal stuff. Um, then this would probably be ideal because the space for the weekend is really, really tiny. You could extend it a bit by adding, um, like drawing your own line and then continuing it over here. But I just think that practically it's not really enough space to do any real uh, weekend planning. Now uh, it is very similar to the Me planner layout which Plum Paper also have which I've done a review of previously. If you're interested in that I'll include the link below if you want to have a look at it. So if you like this layout but it doesn't seem quite right go for the Me planner. It's quite similar. You do get the little like top three section for each day. It's lined boxes which is always very handy and there is seven across. So yeah can customize it. Um, with the days of the week instead or do your categories or whatever you like. Let's have a look at some of the other colors if you're thinking about getting this one. So the green is usually my favorite, very nice bright color. They color code it by um, quarter, so you got like mint for one quarter and then purple and then the orange color and you can choose whatever start month that you like. So if you want to start it uh, mid-year you can, if you want to start on a random month like March you can pretty purple and then I'll just show you the orange one I have done a pen test of these planners previously I'll also include the link to that below if you wanted to um, see how the paper quality goes the other thing that I just wanted to point out with the plum paper is that it's a bit different to most other planner companies in that for the uh, previous day so if it ends the week ends uh, midweek it will keep those previous days and just shade the boxes out so if I go to the previous one for this week, uh, it will go from the end, see here, the end of the previous month, and then there's those ones reverse are shaded out. So if you um, find that a bit odd, you could, which I kind of do, you could just add some sticky notes or get a printable, like a routine um, task cleaning list or something like that, resize it, got another tutorial for that, I'll link it below. And then you could just stick it over the top of these pages and then it's not really like a waste. You can't really tear those pages out because there is printing on the back like of the previous week or the next week. So yeah, just another um, quirk of the plum paper. doesn't really bother me, but some people find it um, a bit useless, but it's not. You can just repurpose the page or you could just use it for general notes, like just ignore the lines and just roll across, um, right across like it's normal note paper. And I'll just quickly show you if you haven't seen any of my other 
plum paper reviews or you've never seen a plum paper there is usually a couple of extra pages at the back so some dot grid there's always a password log very handy I don't know why they keep including the contacts page but they do you always repurpose this page though however just list making general notes just white out those little icons it is a US uh, company so it has the US holidays printed it also has them printed on the uh, monthly spread as well got a dates at a glance calendar for 2021 and then whatever you know the next year is and then it has a double-sided pocket folder as well you can personalize the cover with whatever you um, like from their designs they have usually like one design and then a couple of different colorways so this one is the uh, paint swatches one which I quite like I've gotten a few planners with um, this sort of style but in different colors there was a cute flamingos one some like sort of raindrop style stripes there's heaps of ones to choose from they're all quite pretty and you can personalize them with whatever text that you like so for this one I just opted for planner kept it simple but you can put your name or whatever you want on there as well so I hope you found this review helpful. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I do post a couple of planner review videos each week.